What's up Trillo Nation? Another video. This time it's handcuffing but we're going to start from the side mount position already. The reason why I'm going to start from the side mount is you took the guy down now you want to handcuff him and that's what we're going to start. That's today's lesson is about controlling him from the side mount. Before I go any further Yes, I'm wearing a Miami-Dade Police Department uniform. I'm not acting on behalf of Miami-Dade Police. I'm not doing this on their behalf. I'm doing this as an officer, my academy, my time, my expertise, for your knowledge. So check it out. Good. Sir, stop resisting, Good. please. Good control. Sir. Excellent. Demora lock. Perfect. Perfect. Now talk to us. Sir, stop resisting. Get in your stomach. Nice. Nice. Do that. Sir, and you can stop resisting. Nice. Nice. Sir, I need to comply, sir. Sir, get in your stomach for me. Good. Nice. Sir. Nice. Give me the other hand. Give me the other hand. Nice. Excellent. Click, click. Perfect. All right, those were two good ways of controlling, getting somebody into position where you can handcuff them. Um, there's no real blueprint. No, come on here. There's no real blueprint to how you would handcuff them because the scenario could be a thousand different ways, okay? The one thing that I want you guys to understand is the control of that kimura leading in to that handcuffing position. So, if uh, Anthony, if I start here on the side, a few things I need to do. Control, I need to relax, I need to communicate. Communication is very important with the guy. These guys don't know whether to turn to the left or to the right. So, you want to stay controlled here. So, assuming... I'm baking him already. He's tired. He wants to start getting out. Okay, I mentioned this in the last video. One of the easiest ways to expose his hands, okay, let's assume he's here. One of the easy ways I'm going to turn sideways here, okay, probably I'm not, I'm not going to shotgun grip this hand here. That is a good control, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to, it's, it's here, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to hold this arm for too long. Watch what I'll do. I'm just gonna throw this leg over. It's gonna cause them to turn. And in most cases, nine out of 10 times, they're gonna wanna turn because they wanna get up. So as I go here, look. Look at the arm. Ah, I'm not gonna wait for him now. I immediately bring my leg up. Why? Because I don't want my foot here. I don't want him biting me. I'm thinking of all this stuff. I bring my knee all the way up here. And now from up here, I keep it nice and tight and I'm ready to go. He can't go anywhere. He can't go back that way. He can't go back this way. My knee, everything is pinching him. Okay, now I'm gonna glue this to my chest, and now, at the moment I want him to start turning over, you know, look at my hand. Look at the wrist lock. Now I can release this, and I can start securing. Look, start turning down, start turning down, start turning down, bring your other hand behind your back, <coughs> other hand behind your back, <clears throat> boom. And I'm in good control here. Still can access my weapon, my radio, my phone. I can do whatever I want right here. Full control. Okay, one more time. I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. This time, give me a little bit more resistance. Okay? Now, remember, we're not defending it like a jiu-jitsu guy. By far, the majority of the people out here don't know any jiu-jitsu. So they're going to do what I tell you, the new student, when you step on the mat, not to do. Give your back, expose your neck. They're gonna do all that stuff. In which case, it would, it would actually end the fight a lot easier for me, okay? So, I'm here. I need to take you under arrest. You ready to go? A little bit more resistance? Yeah. Go. <clears throat> Bake. <clears throat> He's gonna wanna turn. Exactly, exactly. Boom, done. What a cop, baby, he's done. You just made a huge mistake right there. All right, look, knee over, com controlling everything. Hand behind your back, let's go. Enough of this, hand behind your back. Let's go, 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 go. Good boy, done. 
What did I take? I still have a lot of energy. I'm still good to go. Okay? Let's go. Try it again. Back on the side. Edgar, go. Same thing. Bake, cook, cook. Good. Right there, look, Stop at that. look at that, look at that, control. Stop resisting. Good, good. Now, raise your left <laughs> leg, your left knee up, pinch it against the side of his chest. Yes. Watch the foot against belly. the face. In your belly. Let me get your hand, let me get your hand. Behind you. Give me your hand behind you. Nice. Nice. <coughs> nice job. One last thing. <coughs> if something really bad happens, you have to finish it for whatever reason, man. This guy is just not, maybe the guy is high on PCB or I don't know, some type of drug where he's, these cranks are just not working on him. It's enough to control him, but it's not, it's not really, you can literally rip their, or their shoulders off. They're gonna keep fighting. <coughs> I understand that. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm gonna take my left knee, and I'm gonna go under his head. From here, watch the transition. I'm gonna reach here, boom. Lock him in here, he's done. I don't care what drug on earth he's on. I slap on that, that, uh, that uh, rear choke, he's done. He's going to sleep. Take control and handcuff him. Now, if your department, no, oh, my department won't allow us to do that. Just like your department doesn't certify you in hitting people over the head with a chair because you had to do it to save your life. If you have to do this to save your life, deal with the paperwork later, but you go home to your family. Okay, I'm out. The Kimura cop.